Alright, so I am uh, here in my mine shed. I'm making a video to show you guys my house and my mine, but mainly my house. So, uh, just a little storage area here. If we go out, this is the mine. I haven't worked on this in a while because I've been working on um, the fortress that is in my other video with my cannons, um, but I will come back to this eventually. Um, lighting every five spaces around, stairs spiraling around the sides, pretty basic, nothing amazing here. Um, also there will be glass floors every time I come across a cave or anything like that, like back there. Um, I'll make a glass floor so if you want you can step off and explore that area. Um, but it's all glass so during the day everything's lit, it's kind of nice. Um, but that's about it for there, so let's head over to my house. Eventually, these locations will be connected by a sky bridge with rail tracks on it, but I haven't started that yet because I'm busy with my fortress. So for now, we have to walk. Luckily enough for us, it's not too far, but it's still kind of annoying. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. So this uh, house that we're heading to now, um, I have dubbed the Beacon. I think the reasons why will be pretty obvious whenever you see it. Uh, we're actually not too far away now. But left this breadcrumb trail here because whenever I first uh, decided on that mining location, I kept forgetting how to get back there. So it's a good way for me to find my way back. Although of course now I have it pretty thoroughly memorized, but. Still, nice to have. There you can see part of the beacon off in the distance. So, what's really cool about this is it's a really neat uh, landform, and what's awesome is that it was actually naturally occurring like this, just in my randomly generated world. Uh, I just happened to find this pinnacle like this, so there's this massive hunk of land that's just held up by this little piece right here, and I just thought it was really cool. So I was like, well, I could put a ladder, climb up, hollow out some layers, and uh, create a pretty neat home for myself. So I actually just also recently created a farm o over there, uh, but it's I just started it. It's not even all full yet, so... But if we come in here... Uh, the Beacon Gardens, which is over there, um, the only way into it is from in here, actually, that there's a tunnel that goes in, uh, you actually, that's all surrounded in glass, you can't get in from the outside, so, uh, but this leads up to the Beacon, so, up we go. Welcome to the Beacon first floor. It's pretty nice, got some nice artwork, uh, jukebox, which, put on some cool music, why not, let's see here. It's a pretty cool song. Anyway, um, I pretty much labeled everything. I try to stay pretty neat. Um, tools, I try to keep stockpiled on everything too. So, uh, my furnaces, I like this kind of chandelier type lighting. I use that quite a lot actually. Um, you'll also find, I don't know, maybe, maybe if some of you watch X's videos on Minecraft, you'll notice uh, that my style of building is very similar to his, and that's because I actually got it from him. I was I, I watched his videos and really liked the way that he built things, so I kind of copied. Um, but I do the same sort of wood trim work and everything, so a shout out to X for his great videos. You guys should all check him out. Anyway, over here we got armor chest, then weapons and arrows, they're both fairly stocked, the arrows is totally filled. Uh, then over to the beacon storage, yeah, if I don't get caught on the door. Um, this is just my massive storage room. I have tons of pretty much everything here. Clean stone or rock, whatever you want to call it, logs, sticks, whatever, sand and glass. I'll show you where I got all this sand, it's pretty insane actually. Um, dirt, and I don't really keep much gravel just because I think it's kind of useless, but I don't know. Coal, flint, and redstone. 
iron and diamond, and I made diamond tools, so I'm pretty much out of diamonds. But anyway, and then just some decor just to make it look better and not empty. Like you will find out that the next floor is. So if we go upstairs, it's pretty barren. Uh, the only thing I created up here is this incinerator, which actually I don't even use anymore because I found out that I can use the fireplace that's down there as an incinerator. So. Um, but it still looks nice, so I left it there. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this floor. I don't really have any plans for it. So if you guys have any feedback or ideas for what I could put here that would be cool, let me know. But on to the third floor. The third floor is going to be the Skybridge Hub, which of course I don't have Skybridges yet, so um, there's nothing here. Also, yes, I'm aware about this. This happened because I just built that incinerator downstairs and I need to block it off, and I just haven't done it. I'll do it probably right after I finish this video, actually. But, um, so basically the idea is my mine that I dug is over there. It's dark, so you can't really see anything, but it's over there. So basically I will open a hole in this wall that will have a massive bridge leading way far away that way and then over to the mine and it will have rail tracks and accelerators so you can quickly travel back and forth between here and the mine and then from the mine to the fortress which is even further over that way. Um, and then as I do other various locations I'll build more. This is kind of going to be like the central hub. This room will just be full of uh, different railways going to different locations. So if we go upstairs some more this leads up to the Beacon Pinnacle, as I call it, outside. If you come up here, this is naturally occurring like this. Um, all I did is add the torches, of course, which is unfortunate because in a couple days, with the Halloween patch, it is my understanding that torches will expire. So I guess I will be having to replace all of my torches with lamps. But, oh well. It is alpha. Not even beta, it's just alpha, so... Anyway, if we go upstairs further, we can go up to the observatory, um, which doesn't look quite as nice as it used to. Uh, this texture pack I installed, uh, I think it's called John Smith's Texture Pack, you can look it up on the forums. Uh, it's really nice, I really like it, it looks really great. Uh, and I actually do like the glass, the, it actually looks like windows now, which is cool if you're using it for windows, but in this case where I just wanted a glass room, it kind of interferes actually, it makes it hard to see. So this isn't quite as useful as it used to be, but it's not too bad. If you can see, I don't know if you can really tell, over there, it's pretty hard to tell because it's dark, but over there, that's where I got all the sand from. There was like a huge, huge area of sand there. Um, it was just like this massive expanse, really, really deep too. And I just dug a ton of sand out of there to make all this glass and everything. So... Uh, but that's pretty much it with my house for now. I still have lots of plans, lots of stuff that I want to do. Um, but thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, if you have any ideas for the second floor, uh, throw up a comment. So anyway, um, thanks again for watching, and uh, see you guys next time.